Okay, so I did find another one of those weird caterpillars of thistle focus on this leaf, which means I have to take this leaf off because he will not come off and deposit him somewhere else. So, but uh, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of new growth, new flowers again today. Yes, again today. And a lot of my peppers are staying on the plant. So I will take you through a walk-in in a moment once I get rid of this guy. So here he is with his brother or sister because this guy's still here. He hasn't moved. He's still eating the tomato leaf I put here. This guy's probably going to stay on this pepper as well. Um, and his horn is longer. Yeah. Lucky me. I do have to do some research to find out what they are to let you know. Anyways, back in the garden, this is the first cubanelle that actually stayed on the plant. And inside here, I have another one. Right up there. And then I have this one right down here. And I've got that one right there. I've got another one over here. This one is still growing down here, if I can zoom up. The lighting is horrible this morning because it's getting later in the season, so the sun's coming up later. And I've got another one right up in there. Right there. I've got flowers galore all over the place. Yeah, and if I walk around to the other side, I could show you some more. I might have better light on the other side. So I've got all these new flowers here. All these new flowers in here. Got a new pepper right there. You have a better view of that pepper. A new pepper over here. Look at that guy. I think that's the guy I was showing you, or it was that guy down there. So yeah. And then, pardon the lighting, because the sun's starting to come over, my cucumbers are starting to get rather large. Yeah. What do you know? Rather large cucumbers. And this guy right here has finally opened, so I will hand pollinate him. But as I'm looking at the remains of the spider plants, none seem to be moving, which is a good sign. Uh, the thing with the hydrogen peroxide is if you use too much, it'll start eating the good tissue of the plant as well. So I'm going to quickly pollinate my new flowers and head off to work and come out and give you a full update as to what's going on. Okay, so I'll see you later. From work yet but I noticed pollinating that new cucumber I have another large cucumber that wasn't this size yesterday so I have a new pollinated cucumber which makes a total of four yeah and this one over here is quite curvy but I did notice the last time I had curvy cucumbers they straightened out so now I'm really going to work, and I will see you when I get back. I don't know if this is going to focus, but I've got a dead flower that actually did what the plants were doing in the house. So I don't know if it's lack of water or what. This is my Cubanelle pepper. And... I have been letting the plant dry out a bit before waterings in the pot, because I want to give it a nice deep watering when I do water it. As you can see, I've got fruit peels and eggshells and whatnot up here with the coffee grinds. This way, the water will pull the nutrients out and feed the plant. And I think I let it go a little too far this time, but that's okay. Because despite the droopy leaves, it's actually doing quite well. I have far more peppers on my plants than I did before.
because now it's getting the nutrients and I keep getting flowers popping out everywhere even ones that are hidden like if I come down here and I move the leaves out of the way there's one hiding right there I can't see that from the top yes I hand pollinated it I've got more over there it's actually making me quite happy and this guy is doing really nice but the exciting bit is over here this jalapeno is not turning black like the other ones it's turning red you know sometimes they turn black and then that black turns red as you can see this is very very nice but this one is just going straight red which is making me quite happy and I did count and I have over 42 jalapenos growing on this plant at this time yeah, so the amount of nutrients it needs is a lot more. Now I put orange peels and eggshells down for um, for the calcium mainly because the when it's producing fruit it needs calcium. But there's a little bit of banana peel for potassium, coffee grinds for nitrogen. And the story's about the same all the way down. Tomatoes are doing wonderful. They're starting to turn red again, as you can see, a little bit of yellowing, and the bean pods still have not dried on the plant. This one that was broken off, this is what it looks like when it starts to dry. As you can see, they're still pretty green. They'll turn that yellow color and then brown, and I have not seen, and leave a comment if you're seeing it and I'm not, but I have not seen the spider mites moving around after I sprayed them with the peroxide. Just a little jostling around in the wind. But when I said it'll straighten out, as it thickens up it starts to straighten out. So this curve is going away. That one is going away. That one is going away. And this one is just starting to straighten out because this one's younger than the rest. And I have a bunch of smaller ones that have taken that aren't really that noticeable yet, like this guy over here. And this one, right in here. Yeah. So my cucumber plant is doing nicely. I even have this one right here. And look. This is the other part of my cubanella, and I do believe they're two separate plants. And if they're not, they will be when I go inside. It just keeps putting out flower after flower after flower. Yeah, now here's the back side of the cucumber. So you can see the one that I couldn't focus on. And if you come down, I still have baby cucumbers coming out. Pardon the reflection from the windows. Yeah, even little brand spanking new ones. And this guy just opened up. So I gotta hand pollinate him. And um, I'll be back out with Anastasia when we pick one of the jalapenos for dinner tonight. So, uh, we'll see you guys later. Jalapenos, because my husband's making a dish that we're experimenting with, but I wanted to show you how to do it. <gasps> Mommy, look. Not that one these ones over here leave those okay so what you do you don't want to yank because you see the branch moves you want to give it a twist, twist and get your thumb in there and take it off just like that twist. okay 
we'll get a little baggie because we only need a couple for the dish because these are potent. You want to do it again? You can do that foot trick again? Wait.